I'm heading back to the downhill race paddock. It's a place where I've spent a massive chunk of my life. I grew up there, I made some lifelong friends racing downhill. I made a living out of it for a while, but actually, that feels like a, a lifetime ago now. So I'm going to my first proper downhill race in about 12 years. I'm excited, I'm nervous, but first, I'm in Crawley to pick up a brand new bike. So I've come to Propane's HQ in the UK. This is in Crawley. Obviously it's a German brand, but they've got this whopping great setup in the UK. So you can come and check out the showroom. It's a really cool place actually. But also in the UK, if you want to spec your bike online, you can come here and pick it up in person if you want. So let's take a look around. So it's a really cool spot just to come and check out. Uh, that's one of Gaten Vigia's bike that he rode at Hardline, but you can check out all the range of propane. He's got the trick shot dirt jump bike. Obviously at GMBM, we're super lucky to be supported by propane. They're one of the companies that makes our channel possible, but I'm also checking out some of the bikes that I have at home. Got the Econo 2, my favorite heat bike, love that thing. But also I'm, I am drawn over to the kids' bikes. Look at that, 14-inch wheels, disc brake on the rear, and then that's, uh, so this is a Yuma, 24 wheels, with an option to run 26, so it can grow with your kids as well. I'm definitely looking at kids' bikes closer now. We've come through into the workshop, where there's a bit of extra curricular activity for the boys, which is pretty cool. Also, a couple of John and Jones bikes hanging there, but I'm more interested in my brand new Propane Rage 3 CF. Check that out, that is their badminton color, that's called. Cool. It's minty green. Loving it. So this is obviously the Daniel bike, 200 mil travel, got a RockShox Boxer up front, direct mount stem, really cool. 215 mil travel in the rear, RockShox set up on this bike with a super deluxe coil shock. It's got Propane's Pro 10 linkage system here, so progressive. Not ridden a Rage before, so I'm looking forward to setting this thing up. Don't have much time before the weekend, so I'm pretty much jumping on for practice on Saturday on this. I'm gonna cut the bars down and run like 760 mil bars on pretty much all my bikes. Um, it's a size medium, I'm five foot 10, 178 centimeters tall. Um, yeah, swap out a few bits and get this bike set up for Klangothen. I'm heading up to Klangothen for the Gravity Events Round 2 Downhill Race. It's a venue I've ridden a few times, steep and mostly in the open. The race will be on the Ride Portugal track. It's by no means crazy technical, but still a challenge to ride fast. It's one kilometer long with 240 meters of elevation change and an average gradient of 20%. All right, so I've made it to Klangothen for my first downhill race in 12 years. Got my bike set up. Well, sort of, obviously I've not ridden the bike at all yet. It's my first try out today. So there'll be some messing around with settings, I'm sure. But as ever, as you'd expect in the UK, it is raining. Good thing about this place is it's a super steep hill. So it'll drain, but it's gonna be a mudder. So it's gonna be difficult to get used to a bike when it's brand new and it's gonna be pretty tricky conditions. So I'm back at a downhill race. It's been a long time, but it feels really familiar, I suppose. Yeah, it's what I do. From the top of the hill to the bottom, as fast as I can. There's people practicing now, so uh, yeah, getting back into swing things feels, like I said, really familiar. Fun, I guess things will feel different tomorrow and race day, but conditions are quite tricky. It's been really wet all morning. Now it's drying out, so it went from kind of wet and grippy, believe it or not, to digging out and then really, really slick on top. So hopefully it's gonna dry out. I know uh, it's gonna be a fun weekend, but I've gone from uh, being in elite to now I'm in veterans. And I know is um, the competition is hot. Some of the guys I used to race with a long time ago now in old in the veterans, we're no longer these spring chickens. So uh, looking forward to a proper weekend of racing. So this is one of the harder parts of the track actually. Super steep, really slick, and there's loads of different lines coming down. Oh. 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 
three runs down with varying degrees of success, but loving this whole process of trying to work out a fast way down track. But I'm feeling something now, it's a brand new bike obviously, so I can feel something loose, time to do a bolt check. Well, that's Saturday's practice done. The bike's set up as good as I think I can. It's time for me to get fueled up and get a good night's sleep, ready for race day tomorrow. It's race day now, so did five practice runs yesterday, which felt like plenty. I, I had loads more time, but I thought I'd give it a rest. The, the rain came in yesterday afternoon, so I was like, I'll save me energy. I thought the track was gonna change a lot. Today, it's super sunny. And it's gonna be dry all day, apparently. So the track is probably gonna be greasy this morning. There's some new parts. There's some ruts were already going yesterday. So uh, I think it's gonna build into quite an interesting race course today. So. Uh, we're at a Gravity UK event um, where there's two race runs today, which is kind of different to a lot of races. We just have one, one chance to do it. So uh, I'm quite excited about it, really. I need to get a couple of good banker sort of down uh, practice runs this morning, see how the track is already. But like I said, I think it's going to dry out and uh, save some energy from my two race runs later on. I've done three practice runs now and I'm feeling pretty good on the track. The track is drying out quite a lot, so it should keep getting faster throughout the day as long as those bottom ruts don't blow out. So let's head up for race run one. run was pretty solid. I very nearly threw it away. I was so lucky the front wheel stayed gripping before going into the tricky woods, but I did not crash. Two minutes, 40 seconds put me in third place after run one. Two and a half seconds off second place James Hughes, but seven seconds back from Leon Rosser in first. I don't think I have that up my sleeve, even if I can correct that small mistake. But a couple of hours later, I regrouped and headed up the hill once again, keen to tick off a faster run.
Race run two was better, but not enough. I took almost two seconds off. Good enough to finish in third place, five seconds off the win. That went to Leon Rosser with James Hughes in second place. Well, there you go. What a fun weekend of racing that was. It was great to be back in the pits and seeing some friends of old, but also it was really nice being able to race and it basically not having any pressure like I used to when I was a pro of kind of my living depending on it. I was there to just try and do a good run on the track. And it's actually really inspiring as well to see those older guys, how dedicated and how fast they are. And it's inspired me. I, I want to do some more racing and maybe get back into race shape a bit better and do some more of that. That probably wasn't the best part. Actually, it was really cool to see my family come and watch me race. It's the first time any of my kids have seen me do the thing that I used to do. And it was Father's Day as well, so that made it extra special. Um, but that's not the end of it. Very soon, I'll be heading out to France and I'll be testing my speed against the world's best pros. So that's gonna be a very different matter indeed, but keep watching the channel. That'll be coming very soon. Thanks for watching. See you later.